this just feels like such a big effort for me to walk on so tired now. This was Tina Starmer just a few years ago. Suffering from an aggressive form of multiple sclerosis, she could barely walk. She even found it difficult to speak properly. But today, here she is, striking a yoga pose. And listen to her voice now. I used to be in a wheelchair and now I can stand like this. Tina's amazing transformation is incredible, considering by now she should be in a nursing home. And she's not the only one. At 47, Nicole Corrie could barely walk. She too suffered from aggressive MS. I was heading for full-time care. I couldn't put my shoes and socks on. I couldn't dress myself. I couldn't cut up my food. So if you get to the point where you can't feed yourself, you're not really living. Yet today, two years later, Nicole might still walk with a limp, but she's back to being self-sufficient. It's given me my life back. It's given me mobility. It's given me the opportunity to get out there and get back in the workforce, to be a person that can contribute. MS is an autoimmune disease. So the key for Tina and Nicole was to create a new immune system free of MS. It's done using hemopoietic stem cell therapy. The patient's stem cells are harvested from their blood. Then an intense chemotherapy regime kills off the patient's MS-ridden immune system. At that point, the harvested stem cells are re-injected into their body. We're rebooting the immune system, removing the cells we don't want, and within a week to 10 days, uh, you've got a whole new immune system. Neurologist Dr Colin Andrews was one of the first in Australia to use the treatment, only suitable for patients with aggressive MS that existing medication can't treat. It's important to have the right window of opportunity because once that passes, they're not going to be suitable for the treatment. Recent overseas studies have had a 95% success rate of stopping the disease. Well, it's giving them a life and they can go to work. If these patients hadn't had the treatment, where would they be now? Well, some of the more severe ones would be in a nursing home now and uh, the less severe ones would probably not be walking. Dr Andrews managed to successfully treat eight patients with the stem cell therapy here at Canberra Hospital. But halfway through the ninth patient, after they'd harvested her stem cells, but before she underwent chemotherapy, the hospital closed the program down. On the grounds, it was unethical. What we're doing here is harvesting the patient's own cells. Uh, it's not cells from elsewhere or from any other source. Um, so I can't see there's an ethical issue. I was completely devastated, heartbroken, that other Australians couldn't get what I got for a chance, for a second chance in life. 40-year-old Carmel Turner was one of Dr Andrew's first patients. Before the treatment, her body was declining fast. She had just given birth to her first child. I knew I was in serious trouble and if I didn't do something, then um, I would be unfortunately um, in the wheelchair or in a nursing home and I didn't want that for my little girl. It's been three years since and Carmel's future is bright. I have this opportunity to live and be a mummy to my only daughter. It's the most incredible feeling to be able to lift her and to love her and to go out and do the mummy things. Now that Dr Andrews has been stopped, there's one doctor left in Australia doing the treatment. Yet there's about 4,000 sufferers of this aggressive MS. So many are going overseas for the treatment. I had no choice. I was on a ticking time bomb. I didn't know what to expect next. So my health and seeing my child is far important, so I had to go. But it's at a huge cost. Melinda Beatty spent $65,000 to go to India for the treatment. Andrew Price flew to the US, spending $130,000. Both have had successful results. I didn't want to be the mum that's up the back in a wheelchair dribbling while my daughter's graduating from high school. I'm now an active mum. They've now formed an organisation to lobby the federal government, but they're up against it, with MS Australia refusing to support it yet. The procedure itself, still in its experimental phase, very much only works with a very small number of people. It's a procedure, it's not an experiment, it's something that's been around 
for 10 years. Um, it's widely practiced throughout the rest of the world. Since Dr Andrew's program was shut down two years ago, he hasn't been able to do any cases. Well, it means that some patients are missing out on treatment that might have made a big difference to their lives. Give us a kiss. Mm. I love you.